In this micro nugget, we answer the question, where are those files? I'm James Conrad. All right, let's take a look here at how we can find various files. Uh, this could be very frustrating as you start to create folders and subfolders and sub sub subfolders, and your file list grows very large, and it gets to be hard to see the forest for the trees. So what we can do here is to find files or things that we need specifically. It could be a program as well, by the way. Uh, so one of the ways you can do that is you just click on the Start menu. Uh, this is also actually called the Jewel by Microsoft, but we all just call it the Start menu. And I might say, I'm looking for a specific program. What was it called? It starts with an S. Those don't look familiar. O, L, Solitaire. There it is. So that's one thing that we can do to find file of, excuse me, programs. But we can also find files. Notice that we have different files down here. For example, this is my son's list of Saturday chores that he's supposed to do. <laughs> I'm not quite sure he did them all. Uh, but anyway, there's the list. Now the thing to observe about that is by clicking here and searching, it's going to search the whole computer for any of the criteria that I enter, but I could also go to a specific folder like My Assorted Files, and maybe I'm just looking for any PowerPoint files. So I could just type in PPT, because I know the file ends in the letters PPT. What to do? It shows me these two PowerPoint documents. <laughs> this is actually my son's old spelling homework from years ago in grade school, and I probably should have deleted it by now, but it's so darn cute, sometimes I still <laughs> open it up and see what's in there. Anyway, if you're looking for PowerPoint files, just like a PPT, and you're looking maybe on a corporate share of some kind, then you could get, get hundreds or even thousands of results here, and that would still be too much. Maybe I'm just looking for something that also had the word blunder in it. That was one of his spelling words. So I could type in PPT blunder and press enter, and now it's only going to show me PowerPoint files with the word blunder in them. You see, indexing will actually look inside of the files and see the contents of a file and search against that as well for you. Now, if I really like the search, I expect to be performing it in the future, I can click on Save Search, and I'll just call it PPT Blunder. I've already saved one earlier because I was testing this out earlier. <laughs> anyway, now I'll just replace that one, and sure enough, there we have it. Now, anytime in the future, all I have to do is, let me close this up, all I have to do if I want to look for the same criteria is just click PPT Blunder, and wouldn't you know it, it goes ahead and shows it to me right away. Now, another way of finding files besides what we just used, which was Start and Search and then Windows Explorer, is to use the dir command. And you can use wild cards like star dot star or star dot something else, or you can use a question mark. And then you can also search subdirectories as well with a forward slash s. Doesn't quite apply to our situation because I only have a single directory in this case. But let me show you how that might work. Okay, so I would click here, and I want to go to a command line. Now, you can go through the Start menu under Accessories to find that, but I can also just type cmd, and there's cmd.exe up there at the top, or I can just type the word command, or c-o-m-m, -M, and that gives me enough right there, and I can just click on it. Now what I could do is to change directory to the desktop, okay? And I press tab to automatically fill in the rest. Now if I do a dir, we're not really seeing much there. Uh, if I do a dir, and this actually would be a good example of the forward slash s, but if I do a dir star, which is a wildcard, dot, ppt, that means search for anything before the period, or before the file extension, I don't care what the beginning part of the name is, but the end must be ending in PPT, okay, and press enter. Now look, I didn't get anything, did I? Hmm, why? Because if you look in the background here, there are no PowerPoint files on my desktop, but if I were to do this again, and I just repeated the command by pressing the up arrow, and then a forward slash S, now it will search subdirectories, and it will show me those couple of files. And then another way of searching here would be to use a question mark. So let me show you this. I would do a DIR, and then maybe I'm looking for uh, anything at the beginning, and then a dot, and then a question mark, meaning any letter there, but the next two letters need to be PS, or excuse me, SD, okay? So star dot question mark, meaning that can be any letter, but the next letters have to be SD. Again, nothing there, but if I do a forward slash S, it shows me the subdirectory where apparently I've got three Photoshop files there about RAID. I don't even remember why I created those, but at least there are the files. Now, finally then, let me exit out of this command prompt and talk to you a little bit about indexing. Now, what is indexing? 
Uh, this is something that this, the operating system will do in the background, and it'll scan through all commonly known locations, like your user's directory, such as uh, your username, and then your desktop, and then any files that you have there, uh, and so on. And it will scan those and index them in advance, meaning that your searches will be faster because it's kind of already been pre-populated with pre-indexed materials. Now, you can search for it in Control Panel, but again, it's easy if you just type in index down here in the search box, and then I'm going to go to indexing options. We don't need to explore this in great detail right now, but you can see the common locations where it will find information for us. For example, in under the users folder, that would include my desktop, you know, my, my documents, my videos, my pictures, all those sorts of things. If you need to modify these, of course, you can add in individual items to it if you like. Well, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.